there, welcome to my curls. Y'all, we're gonna talk about eyebrows today. What to do with your eyebrows if you have gray hair? What color should your eyebrows be if you have gray hair? Well, I've got the gray hair. I'm going gray. I'm 16 months into my gray hair transition. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I would love for you to subscribe, hit the like button on my video, and stick around because I have so much to say about going gray. This video is about what to do with your eyebrows if you have gray hair. And I'm gonna share with you how I tend to my eyebrows. Everything from how I shape them, how I maintain them, and the product I use on them every day when I put on my makeup to have them look and be the color that I want them to be. I got my eyebrows threaded three days ago, and I only do it about every three months, but I got dressed this morning, I took a shower, I did my hair, and I had my makeup on, but I have done nothing to my brows. So in this video, I'm going to do my brows, I'm gonna to explain to you what I do, the products that I use, and I'm gonna get up close and personal so that you can see my eyebrows, and then I'm gonna show you the before and after so that you can see for yourself how much better my face looks when my brows are taken care of. We're talking brows today, ladies, so stay tuned. I gotta say, eyebrows are probably one of the top topics on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram page. It doesn't matter what we're talking about, somehow eyebrows always come up. And I got my eyebrows threaded the other day and I posted a picture on Instagram and just instantly, bam, I am hit with all kinds of questions and comments about eyebrow threading. So because I have curly hair, I have crazy wild eyebrows. Like I'm not even kidding. And up until I was probably in my late 30s or about 40 years old and I'm 48 now, I did nothing to my eyebrows other than trim them with a little teeny, teeny pair of scissors. I would brush them, I would trim the ends with these little scissors, and that was it. I didn't pluck them, I have never waxed my eyebrows, I, I did nothing to them. But now that I've gotten older, my eyebrows are getting thinner, I am getting some gray eyebrows, and my hair is gray. So I do more to my eyebrows now because I feel like my eyebrows are so important. They frame my face, they frame my eyes, they can really give just definition to my look. And if you all have watched my other videos, you know there are three things that I will not leave home without. My lipstick, my earrings, and my eyebrows. That's just how I roll. Those are the three things on my list. I can go out without any makeup on. It's fine as long as I have my eyebrows done and I have my lipstick on. So we're gonna break this video down into three topics about eyebrows. First, number one, we're gonna talk about how I shape my brows and I get my eyebrows threaded. So like I said, I have never done anything to my eyebrows. I have never waxed them. I've never plucked them. I have only trimmed them but I started getting my eyebrows threaded about a year ago, and y'all, I love it. I've done several videos on eyebrow threading, and if you don't know what eyebrow threading is, let me sum it up for you really quickly. The concept originated in Asia, and it's where they take a cotton piece of thread, like a spool of thread, like you would use to sew you know, a button on your jeans or on a pair of pants, they take a piece of thread, they twist it in this kind of funky method, and they line it up on your eyebrow, they roll it over the area that of the unwanted hair, and they pluck the eyebrows out all at once, all the way at the follicle level. So eyebrow threading does not use chemicals, it doesn't use wax, there is not pulling on the delicate skin around your eyes. You're not gonna get breakouts like you would if you waxed your eyebrows. And with threading, you can be very, very precise in how you want to shape your brows. I think it is fantastic. I love it. I, I can't imagine not doing it now that I've done it. And the way I got started with threading was my teenage daughter went and got her eyebrows threaded. And she came home and I was like, wow, your eyebrows look so good. 
And then I went the next day and got mine threaded and I've been hooked ever since. When I went in this weekend to get my brows threaded, my husband was actually with me. And I thought he was going to stay put in the chair, but as soon as that woman got going on my eyebrow, he is up behind me asking her questions. And if you all have seen him in any of my other videos, he is a hoot. But anyway, so he's asking this woman, how did she learn to do this? How long did it take her to learn to do it? And he was amazed at what she was doing to my eyebrows. He thought that the thread was going to like cut the brows off, like trim them off. He didn't realize that it was actually plucking the eyebrows out. But he, he said that every time she would yank that thread, eyebrows were just flying everywhere. And they do. They fall all over your face. Uh, but anyway, the woman said that it took her four months to learn how to do it. And she's from India. It's her and her two sisters have a threading salon here in our hometown. So that is a lot of training, four months. But they are fantastic eyebrow threaders, know exactly what they're doing, and Randy had a... I think he enjoyed watching me in pain, but he had a good time watching me getting my eyebrows done. He was amazed at how fast they were working that piece of thread. Now, when I posted the picture of my brows on Instagram, these were the questions that I was, I was asked, and I'm going to answer them for you here. A lot of people say, well, I've never heard of this. I live in a really small town, y'all. We have three uh, threading studios in my small town. So you probably have them in your town too. You just don't realize that they're there. Some of them have weird names. They're not called the eyebrow threading place. Um, normally, it's not done at a hair salon. It is a boutique specifically for threading. You can have your lip threaded. You can have the peach fuzz threaded, eyebrows. And where I go, they even do eyelash extensions and some other things. So you're just going to have to search to find if there is a threading boutique in your town, and I bet there is. Another reason I love eyebrow threading is because it is very inexpensive. It is $8. It costs me $8 to get my eyebrows threaded every three months. You can't beat that. I was asked on my Instagram post about the pain. Does it hurt? And the lady said, well, it can't be any worse than getting a tattoo. Well, okay, let me, let me address that. Eyebrow threading hurts. I think it hurts. My daughter says I'm being a baby and it's really not a big deal. But I'm going to be honest, I think it hurts. I think it hurts a lot. Now, since I've never had my eyebrows waxed, I cannot compare it to that. Here's how I can explain it. Comparing it to getting a tattoo. I have two tattoos, so I know what that feels like. Both of my tattoos are, are fairly small, and it took about 10 to 15 minutes to get each one. So when you get a cat tattoo and they start with the needle, it is a consistent pain that does not stop for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute, for as long as you can stand it until they stop the needle. So after a couple of seconds, you know what you're in for and you just kind of deal with it until the needle stops. With eyebrow threading, it is not consistent. They line up the thread and they yank. They line up the thread and they yank. So I'm constantly, I mean, I am gripping the chair. I have got my teeth gripped and you have to keep one finger on your eyelid to kind of pull that area um, taut and it hurts. I got it. It hurts. But the good news is it only lasts about 30 to 40 seconds per eye. So I can park my car, go in the salon, get my eyebrows threaded, pay and get back in my car in about six minutes. I have actually timed it. In my other video where I, I took you all to the um, threading salon with me, and I'll link it right up here, I timed my entire trip and I think it was like six or seven minutes. So it's super fast. It is painful. I know it's going to hurt. I go in prepared. It's over fast and I deal with it. Now, after my brows are threaded, I do have like a tingly, stinging sensation for about 10 minutes and then it's gone and that's it. I've never had a breakout. I've never had bumps. I've never had an ingrown hair. I've had nothing. My eyebrows are not red. Like I know I see ladies who are at my hair salon getting their brows waxed 
and their eyebrows are red and puffy and inflamed and I can look at women and know instantly who got their brows waxed. Threading does none of that, or for me at least, it does not. I walk out of there looking fantastic. I can go do whatever I need to do with my brows stinging for about 10 minutes and then it's gone. Okay, so the next thing we need to talk about is maintenance on your brows. So like I said, I get my brows threaded about every three months and I really don't have to do anything to them in between, but let me get up close. I have a very precise shape. I have a small arch in my brows, which I like. My brow hair is short and that is the way I like to keep it. Now what will happen I'm going to use my little brow brush to point out what will happen um, as the months go on and I know I need to get my brows done right in here, right underneath my brow. I will start to get like a shadowy effect and that is just the hair starting to grow out. And once I, the shadow just gets dark enough, I just go get them threaded again. For me, it lasts about three months. But here are my brows up close. Now, because I have curly hair and my existing eyebrows grow pretty quickly, the only thing I really have to do is brush my brows up and I take these little scissors and if the hairs on the end of my brows are getting just a little long, they'll start to curl. I'll just kind of trim my brows down with my little scissors, but I really don't pluck at my eyebrows at all, which is good news. Okay, so what do I do to my brows every day as part of my makeup routine? Well, because we're up, up close and personal, I still have dark eyebrows. I get a couple of gray hairs in there. I talked about it in my video, gray hair is not for the weak, and I'll link that video right up there because you all had so much to say when I said that I grow this one long, annoying gray eyebrow. The internet went crazy and everybody started talking about their one gray eyebrow, which I thought was hilarious. I thought I was the only person that had the one wonky gray eyebrow, but apparently we all have one. But I still have dark brows naturally. They're just getting thin. And actually, you know, I could go out like this, it's fine, but when you see the difference when I actually um, put my brow powder in, I just think it makes me look so much better, more awake, more defined, more vibrant. It brings definition to my face, and so I prefer always to have my brows done. So, but here's what they look like before kind of thinning and this brow over here i definitely right in here i have a thin area so here's what i do i use a product called anastasia it's called brow powder duo and i use the color chocolate this is what it looks like inside and you can tell you've got two colors in the little compact I use the darker color a lot more than the light color, and that was mainly before I had so much gray hair. Now that I do have so much gray, I use a mix of the colors. I also have the brow brush from Anastasia. It has this little teeny brush on the end, as a very sharp angled, thin pointed brush on the other end. So this is the Anastasia brow brush. I will link both of these products in the description box below. Here's how I tend to my brow. So look at me before. Let's just see. Here I am before, brows not done. What I do, open my compact, get my sharp angled brush, and I, ooh, this is gonna be hard to, I just, I don't pull the brush across the powder. I dab it, dab, dab, dab. I dab it in the powder ever so lightly, just across the two colors. And then I stand back from my mirror a natural distance. Don't get up in your mirror. Don't get in your mirror because you will apply too much powder. And that is a big no-no. Stand a natural distance from your mirror. And I don't draw on brows. I just, just like I did in the compact, tap, tap, tap. I guess I am drawing just a little bit, just a little bit of sliding, 
but I'm taking my natural brow shape and just adding some definition. That's it. That is all I did. So let me do the other one. I'm going to tap, tap, tap across my colors. And I'm going to Can't see because my gray hair in the way. Okay, then I'm going to take my little um, brush end. I'm just going to brush my brows up. And that's it. So here is the difference. It added the definition. It just kind of brings me to life. So now I feel complete. Just a couple little dabs and a little teeny, teeny bit of powder made a world of difference in my eyebrows. Now, the reason I love this, this Anastasia, Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, it does not drop on your face and it stays put all day long. Seriously, like tonight when I wash my face, I, I rub the soap in my eyebrows to get it out. It does not disintegrate throughout the day. It does not have any fallout. It stays put. I have tried pencils. I have tried a gel. I have tried, I don't know, all sorts of things on my brows, and I hated all of them until I found this, and I've been using this for years. I really, really, really love this product. I hope you all enjoyed watching me do my brows and I really hope that you can see the significant difference in my face before I put my brow powder on and after. I just feel so much better when my brows are done. I got my lipstick on, I got my earrings on, and I'm ready to go out. So if you all enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you should, because I am so glad you're here. I would love to have you on my channel where we talk about curly hair and gray hair and going gray and what all of those things mean. So have a good day, and I'll see you later.